just make this go away. Welcome to Cage Talk. I'm your host, Buck, and joining me in the studio is my co-host, Nick. Hello, everybody. And also joining us on the phone is the UFC Hello. heavyweight champion, Tim Sylvia. How you doing, man? Are you guys still there? Tim, yes. how you doing, man? Good. Yeah, how you doing? Good, man. Very good. So, uh, Tim, we'll just kind of just jump right in the fire right now. you got a huge fight coming up March 3rd up in, uh, up in Ohio, and you're going to be taking on Randy Couture. What do you That's think? Right about, here. What do you think about him coming out of retirement for this deal? Um, I think he's a 43 year old man coming out to make some money. You know, it's funny you say that because somebody else, I was reading on an MMA forum and somebody else said the same thing that, you know, Randy really never got paid while he was doing his, you know, when he was, you know, building what he was building. And uh, now people are really starting to make some real money off of this deal. And some people are saying that he's coming out just for the paycheck. I think so. I mean, really, I mean, let's think about it. He's he's a 43 year old man who's been retired for a year. Um, his last two fights at light heavyweight, he faced a great striker and got knocked out. Uh, his last two fights at heavyweight, uh, he lost brutally by guys that are bigger than him. That's why he dropped the 205. Right. Um, this fight, he's facing the, the worst of two, uh, a bigger heavyweight who can strike really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's and that's actually a good point, and I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. But a question for you is, uh, I mean, do you think this is a fight that he shouldn't be taking, or do you think that I mean, you know, he, I mean, he's gonna, he's a good competitor. He has a track history of being an excellent, you know, exceptional athlete, and um, I mean, he's gonna show up ready to fight. But I mean, are you thinking this is a, a fight that he just shouldn't take, and there's no question in your mind that you're gonna annihilate him? Or well, is I it mean, the- like you said, he is all of the above. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm training my ass off, and I'm coming ready for the best Brady Couture. Uh, to bring to the table. Um, right. I, I'm really going to push the action with this fight, and uh, what's good about Randy is he always says push the action, and he always brings the fight to you. You know, for order of him to win this fight, he has to close the distance and try to get me to the ground. So, uh, you know, we're, we're counting on that, and... Uh, We'll put you through a knockout, obviously. Absolutely, and that's actually we we spoke to Randy last week, and we um, that was his. Uh, I mean, we said I said without giving away too much, Randy. Um, what's your game plan? He said game plan's not any secret whatsoever. I would like to take him down and grapple with him, and he's going to want to keep it up and uh, and bang with me. And so, um, are you preparing specifically uh, takedown defense? I mean, obviously, in your last fight with Monson, you showed that you have clearly have ground skills and that's not an issue for you however um i'm assuming you're going to want to keep it on your feet and uh yeah. bang with exactly. i want to keep the fight on my feet you know lock them out like chuck did yeah gotcha what do you think about I mean, if the opportunity arises and um he's being lazy on the cage i'll take him down and be on top of him he doesn't do well with guys on top of him either so yeah hmm. yeah now i know you've probably been asked this question a million times already what do you think about miracle crow cop now coming over to the ufc and what did you think of his his, I mean, obviously he wasn't really tested with Eddie Sanchez, but what do you think about the whole move of uh, Crow Cop coming over? I'm happy about Crow Cop coming over. It makes the division a tougher division, and it broadens it, which is what I've been wanting for a long time. I told Danny he needs to spend some money and get some of the pride guys over here, and he did it. So uh, I wasn't impressed with Crow Cop's performance, and I see a lot of holes in this game, and I'm looking to capitalize on him, and I have a face each other down the road. Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, just kind of something, something little, little rumor talk. Uh, it, it's been, it's, I guess it's just been recently rumored that uh, Matt Hughes has said that he wants to get his belt back. But when he gets his belt back, then he wants to move up to one eighty five. What do you? Th- I mean, you train with the guy every day, so you know. What do you think of all that? I think Matt would do real well. He gets Anderson's over. Styles make fights, and uh, you saw. I mean, Matt's a better wrestler than Travis Luter. He's a lot stronger yeah. than Travis Luter. He's more explosive than Travis Luter. And Travis Luter took him down. If he had any gas, I think he probably could have beat Anderson. Um, but, uh, you know, he gassed out. I, I think Matt would come in and, and, and throw Anderson around a little bit and uh, put him on his back and really ground and bound him. He just could be careful because Anderson is tricky on the ground. He's no slouch. I mean, he's a he's a middleweight champ. I mean, he, he took out one of my best friends in, in orderly fashion. So, uh, yeah. you know, Anderson's a stud, but I, I think, you know, Styles may fight and Matt could beat him. I think you're right with that, 100%. Um, also, something I wanted to bring up and ask you about, and you're probably sick of answering this question, too, how our listeners want to hear it. Um, and uh, I'm interested too. I mean, you, you're the the fans and uh, the critics' biggest uh, biggest issue with you is there's even Randy says it. Um, a lot of people think that you're simply trying to hold on to the belt and you're not pushing fights. And um, the last couple fights they're saying have been in, in um, you know have been showing that. And I'm curious to know what your response to that is. Well, against Andre Olowski in the first round, I heard him with a right uh, uh, cross, left hook combination. He backed off. I tried to chase him down. He clinched with me. And um, after that moment, he did not want to fight anymore. He didn't want to uh, close the distance. He wasn't uh, throwing his, you know, when he was kicking, I was kicking. And, you know, I took those away from him. He, um, he just shelled up and didn't want to fight. 
Um, you, you can't you can't knock a guy out when he doesn't want to fight. He's not too, too you know not willing to close the distance. You chase him, he runs, he circles out. Yeah. Um, Munson, um, I tried to uh, you know push the pace every time I did. You know, I come out and, and really try to throw my hands. He would shoot, so I'd have to you know sprawl. Um, I went for several right. submissions on the ground and um, couldn't close the deal there. Uh, he's a good strong guy on the ground, and um, you know maybe in the fifth round I could have pushed the pace a little bit more. But, uh, you know, yet every time I threw some of my knees and stuff, he, you know, he ran backwards and stuff like that. And yeah, it's got to be hard to fight a guy that size. I mean, it, I mean yeah. And, and I, like I said, he wasn't willing to fight, you know? Yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying, and I think those are all really valid points. I mean, you're right. You look at them in that way and the way you describe it, that's 100% legitimate. So is essentially what you're saying is your response that is, that's not the case. I am pushing the fights, and they're just not showing up to fight. Right. I mean, you, you keep forcing me against wrestlers. And, you know, it's, you know, wrestlers and guys aren't willing to fight. It's hard for me to, you know, get the knockout. You know, if Randy comes up and shows up to fight, you know, I'm going to knock his ass out, plain and simple. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Who are, you, who are you looking forward to fight besides Randy? I mean, obviously you're, you know, you're I'm not fo- looking past Randy right now. So you want to call me that and ask that question in two weeks, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I, have a, a qu- I have a quick question for you just kind of off the cuff. I was just perusing uh, the Share Dog site, and I saw that really cool uh, – that ad that they put up for the Warrior Wear. Have you got? When did you guys film that? Did you get? And how much hand? Oh, did we filmed that before my last fight or after my last fight. How much hand did you have in actually creating that? It's a pretty cool ad. Do you like it? What well, you- I, I did a lot of the, um, like I changed it up a lot and stuff. Uh, my sponsor Warrior Wear really thought a lot of it. I mean, he's a great friend, and that's how he feels about everybody. And I was real happy with it, and stuff like that. And, you know, she put a few things in my words and stuff like that. But yeah. I had a lot yeah. of freeway with it. Well, not. N- now, when um, now if you think about it, and you look at that actual ad. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this just came to my mind right now. But um, you know, even in the ad, you're saying stuff like, "You may not like the fact that I have a strong right hand. You may not like the fact that I have power and the women." I mean, is that like a response to the general um, response to you? You think as a heavyweight champ? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Uh, I've got a funny story for you, Tim. <laughs> a what? I, I've got a funny story for you, and I just I, w- I want to apologize right now before I even get <laughs> into the story. But uh, last week. We uh, uh, Jessica and Rachel set up our interviews for us. And Are you the jackass that uh, <laughs> called me and said, "Hey, is this Randy?" They 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 sent me Rand. They said it was Randy's phone number, and I oh. called it and I was like, I was like, I, I can't. I was like, dude, it doesn't sound like Randy. And then you call back and I was like, oh my god, Tim is gonna punch me in the face next time he sees me. <laughs> so I just wanted to apologize for that because that was that, not intentional. That was by not any intentional means. by any means. We're all there's silence in the studio after the conversation. <laughs> we're like, oh, that was pretty bad. We have it on video. My face went pale, so you can just log <laughs> on to YouTube and check it out or go to our website. So yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that. But uh, listen, we're gonna let you go, man. Eat your dinner, Tim Sylvia. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, best of luck on March. Third. Problem, guys. We're looking forward to the fight. It's gonna be great. Thank all you. Right. Bye. Bye. He called us a jackass again. Again! Again! Again. You the jackass. Jackass again!